Okay, so we out here at day three. Uh, it is currently 10.30 and I just got to the convention center. So a little bit later than usual, but I did want to get some more sleep last night, which was very nice. So now I'm here just pretty much just in time for two by two. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Again, as you guys know, I really don't care that much about two by two. So we'll see what happens. That is Whoa, that looks so Great weird in the Bradland. lighting. Ooh. Whoa. We're getting food with Steve and Daniel. Yes, sir. You got PR average in two by two? Yes, sir. No warm ups and three PLLs kept. Hey. Wow. That'll do it. Yes. I did it like kind of okay in two by two, actually. Bro, if you make two by two finals, are you bringing that up? Yeah. Yeah. Right. That is a large melon. <laughs> Yeah, very large. to the size of his brain. Okay, so I got a very nice looking burger, and you got a very nice looking chicken burger, and we need to eat fast if we want to make one handle. So that is the that is what we are doing now. I don't know why I'm doing this so much. So I've been waiting for OH for a while, and I thought I was group 15, um, because I'm dumb, and I I thought I was looking at like right there where it says 15 right there, but that's for four by four yesterday. It is, I'm in group 14. Okay, that is like entirely my fault. There's no reason for me to have missed that. So I have now missed OH. So I'm checking out some of Nathan's mods here and he's got a cube. All of the 19 millimeter sets. <laughs> I and got this, the, the one by one by three. This is the JL Cuber original. That's my it's, design. It's, it's a three by three core with two centers on either side. And that's the same with this. It's just one center attached to a core. And then we have a 19 millimeter one by two, one by, by two. two by two, and a 19 millimeter two by two. So this is a actually perfectly proportional two by two to a, a 57 millimeter three by three. That's just that's just eight one by ones that I kind of cut them out and and put them on. Is it one of those mini East Sheen two by twos? It's pretty nice though. Yeah, and like then this it. one by two by three is is very nice. I'm trying to get. Hey, the, I'm trying to get. That's the really satisfying 19... to do. We're here with Ben Puzzles, and he's about to reveal a new puzzle. Yeah, that's this right. This is very exciting. How's it going? Pretty good. All right. All right. See it, it's kind of oh. under this clock Ooh. here. All right. So yeah, I've actually got quite a few cubes that I'm revealing at this competition. Yes. But yes. This first one. Yeah. Okay. A giant pyraminx. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a pyraminx, and actually does at first turn like a normal pair makes so right. you got the corner turns like that but this one doesn't actually do tip turns at all oh. instead i think you might see where this is going it does edge turns like that <laughs> so it does both like a master pyramorphics yeah. edge turns and the pyramix corner that turns in the so same cool. that's awesome Dude, i want to try and solve that yeah can yeah. I try and solve it too? yeah <laughs> so you can mix both of the turns with each other to scramble it yeah and this can reach positions that neither of the two puzzles by themselves can because so cool. like with the pyramix the corners never really scramble they just spin around but with the edge turns you can scramble the corners does it shape shift for example so master morphics can actually shape shift if you do 90 degree turns and yeah this can too. Yeah. Ooh. So you can do That's the shape awesome. shifting. Yeah, so I'm calling this the combo mix. Nice. Is mm -hmm. like this a new puzzle? Yeah. Yeah, it oh is. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like That's a. the big reveal, yeah. Man. yeah. So it's uh -huh. Pyraminx, uh -huh. but it's not. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty good. And the best yeah. part no tips. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. tips, so not it's not trivial. <laughs> not trivial. That's good. That's right. Five, yeah. five, Jesse five, does turn. not know five, what to do. I'm very lost. I was like, he is seeing more colors than he should. Look how thin that, that, that corner line. gets. Yeah. Whoa, that's like modern art. Like if you just had that displayed, like that's really cool. We're watching Blind with Jonah. We're looking for Steve and Daniel, mostly. Here's Steve. Right there. Is that a success? I can't see. Wait, is that? Yeah, I think it is. Good job, Steve. Okay, now we're at the fast group of Blind. How was Blind for you, Steve? I mean, I got a pretty good single, but didn't make cumulative time on it. So it's okay. Mm. I got to see on some nice live stream action. Let's see some fast times. We, did, we just hey, witnessed WR. No, no, he's not the whole Oh, okay, no, no. 16 2 2. Someone got a. Wait, who got a 16? Max Hilliard. 
Dang. Is that the closest we've ever seen to a WR? So. I think so. Yeah, it was like 0 0.1 off. Here goes Gianfranco. Ooh, very nice. Okay, we're on a mission. I'm on a mission to just get all of these guys to have frozen cokes, because it's the best thing about his bread. And I'm on a mission to get a frozen coke. We have acquired our mango frozen coke. Do you call a frozen coke when it's mango? I just say frozen mango. Okay, frozen mango, here we go. Ooh, that is really good. Yeah. That is super good, yeah. That's if you guys are ever here, get one of these. So round one for Red 3 has started. It is 341 and I go at, I'm competing at five. I'm in group 22. So it's gonna take a while to get to that point, but uh, we're just here practicing. Uh, I think I'm gonna use the GTS 3. I might use the WRM, I'm not sure. But I am really liking this. It is pretty packed. <laughs> So uh, three right three was okay, not as good kind of as I was wanting, but also pretty much average. Um, I really clutched it out in the end because I like needed a 10 or better for the average to be sub 12 and I got a 986. So like, yeah, that was pretty solid. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I was like getting kind of nervous too. I was like, I really feel like I need at least a sub 12 to make round two. Yeah, I don't know. The other solves, I was like super nervous. And then like, I went for that last solve and I was like, sub 10, bro. Hey, like, <laughs> hey. yeah. So uh, after, you, after we all do three right three, are we gonna go get ramen? Yes. 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 Ramen. Today I was thinking, man, I could really go for some ramen. And then Adam messaged and I was like, thank the Lord. <laughs> you know? Yes. Adam like can read all of our minds. Yeah. So right now we're in the last heat of 3 right 3 round one, which means all the fast people are going. So, I mean, you can't really see much from up here, but there's lots of like fast solves. Felix just got a 4.8. It was a very big applause. I honestly saw that coming because I saw him do a T-perm. Yeah. I saw him do a T-perm at like three, like, like three eight or something like that. And I was like, yup, here comes the four. We out here at dinner with all of the boys, or some of the boys, not all of them. <laughs> Bro, are you excited for Nations Cup? Yeah. yeah. I'm not excited that we have to use garbage propaganda Rubik's brands. Yep. Oof. Rubik's brands? Yep. RSC's, That's RSC's, horrible. RSC's. They're not magnetized and RSC's. they suck. That's so sad. When we were practicing with our mains, we yeah. were getting like 23s, which averages like sub eight. Yeah. But then like, when we were doing the Rubik's speed cube, it was yeah. like 25, 26. Yeah. Oof. Big sad. Well, at least everyone has to like, everyone, everyone has to struggle, food. you know? So we all got the same thing, which is this beef udon noodles. Not sure if I made round two yet. Uh, I think I'm approaching the averages where I am. Oh no, never mind. Okay, now we're getting like 13s. I must have passed it. Oh yeah, I did. I got 1179, 295, hey, out of 400. Here we are at Nations Cup. It's about to start. Steve with the very nice hair flip. Can I say something to the vlog? Sure. Hi Thomas, hi Preston. I'm in his vlog. I know Daniel is in one of the USA teams. Not me, the other one. We come up with the revolutionary method of using three separate timers and some people with calculators. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Good. First person, second person, third person. The second and third cubists must still keep their hands on the match 
while the first tuba completes their solve. Once that first tuba is done, they stop the timer and the second person goes. Then, once the second person has finished, they stop the timer and the third competitor can lift their hands from the timer, solve their cue, then they place their hands back on the timer. Normal penalty. Yeah, it's like it's making it like like ridiculously <laughs> complicated. It's very simple. <laughs> uh, um, discretion of the judges. Like really patriotic. Like uh, yes. Overly patriotic. Yes. We, so we, we just, USA 2 comes out, let's stand up and go to USA. So first match is USA 1 versus Australia 3. And USA 1 is Lucas Eder, Patrick Ponce, and Max Park. Hey. Uh, Australia 3, we have Jody Jones, Riley Dexter, and David Epstein. 12 seconds. What? What? He just <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What just happened? Dude, wait, Max just got a three. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that a new part? Is that just what you think happened? I'm very glad I recorded this. What if what if he actually what if he actually got a 3.3 .3 on a Rubik's brand in Nations Cup? Like what yeah. would they do? Wait, the really? We have USA one versus Australia three. Yeah. Let's see what happens when they like do it like legit this time. Max is gonna get a two this time. <laughs> right? Yeah, Patrick, you like that. They're disappearing into the table. <laughs> See? I love that. That's so creative. Yeah! There's been a little time gap because I had to import a bunch of videos. Basically what happened what we missed is uh Germany destroying everything. I think it has a very solid chance that it will come down to Philip versus USA one in the end. Yeah. And wait, I said Philip. <laughs> Just, just Phil. Just Phil. Gonna oh, solve. What's the next one? Okay, good. Philip, come on, clutch. He's gonna use his roux. He 
Oh, right. I did. Hey. Hey, hey, <laughs> wow. <laughs> the upset, Jonah. Jonah, you can do it. Oh my God! What happened? No way! No way! <laughs> yeah. Jonah, 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 Jonah. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Germany won. Bro. No way. Oh my gosh. Boy. Booey. <laughs> Booey. In our final matchup. We have USA's one of Lucas Etter with the former 4.90 3 single world record. <laughs> Patrick Ponce with a 4.69 4 3 3 single world record. <laughs> and Patrick Ponce. <laughs> and Max Park, former, not former, sorry, 2017 world champion in 3 by 3 What record do you give of Max's? Like, yeah, yeah. It's like versus four. Germany was Cornelius Dieckmann who can speak five languages. <laughs> is there even is there even an upset that can happen? Yeah, like I think e both teams have equal chance. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Honestly, <laughs> even though I don't, even though we were saying that wasn't an upset, I feel like that was an upset. I kind of was. Like, I feel like we were all expecting US to win. Low key. Yeah. High key. Like, nice, high key. Nice US centric. The moment, that, <laughs> the moment that the last keep of the H were going at the same time, my heart was in my throat. Bro, that was so intense. But they misspelled Rubik's. Now we have one more round of applause for our winners.